Good morning. Today is Wednesday, January 8th. And after that little bit of vlog that I did yesterday, which I still have, is on the camera, I really did do a whole heck of a lot yesterday. I didn't go out or anything. I did go to the community mailbox and mail the things that I needed to mail. I was going to mail Monday, but never did. I mailed that yesterday. And I worked on the scavenger hunt book a little bit uh, yesterday. It's getting nice and fluffy. And yesterday I did a page of white. Looking for white things, which was kind of hard. <laughs> and um, I also went through my napkins to find animal print um, napkins. And surprisingly, I only had zebra. So I glued those down, and then this morning I glued down the um, animals. And I also looked for dominoes online. And first I found regular dominoes, and then I saw the domino pizza logo. So I saved that and printed it for that, and used it for the domino prompt. And I worked on it this morning. I found the animals, and I just showed it. Um, one of the things was do a t-shirt thing. And this is actually a punch. And it made like a little envelope, I think. And it looks like a t-shirt, so I went with it. I, better than me drawing one. And the sentiment is from the Tim Holtz Chit Chat. Um, the snarky ones. So I to glue that on there. And then, glue the animals. Then I did a bunch of rubber stamps, because we had the thing was used rubber stamps. And these are all Viva Las Vegas stamps. And then I, um, it was an inspirational quote or um, word. So this was from a day-by-day -day calendar that I got from last year. I think I, I forget where I got it from. I think Walmart, I'm not 100% sure, but got that one, and then I had to write a two-word poem or something like that, so I wrote, just wrote something down, and I think that's what I did today, I have like nine more to do in here before I'm finished, so, yep, the deadline is like April 1st, but I know I'll be done before then. So did that and I just uploaded the vlog from Monday on YouTube and this morning I made pancakes because I still haven't gone to the store to get milk or anything and so yesterday I had oatmeal today I made pancakes and I have a lot of batter left over because I got tired of making them I made about six. Three of them are still, well, the oven's off, but, the, but when I put them in the oven, or took them out of the oven to, you know, serve, the oven was still warm, so I just put them back in the oven in case I wanted more. But I have the batter still in the refrigerator for later, and that's this morning. And then, Yesterday, I've been working on the paint by number on and off. Yesterday, I even did it last night. I know I said I wasn't going to, but I felt like felt like working on it. So I used my iPhone with the magnifier app and worked on it. So I'm gonna do a video today um showing the progress i made and what i think so far of the process and the products and everything but it's looking pretty good i think i already ran out of um one of the color well not technically i ran out of one of the colors for it but they give you two trays of colors which is good so i do have another pink that I can use for the other side of her. And yeah. 
So I'll probably be working on this as well today. Tonight is our HOA meeting. Um, I'll probably go to that. And that's probably it. Um, I did get a thing on my on the Lyft app. A promo, a promo for 50% um, off for 10 rides. So that's a kind, that's good. Not that I have anywhere planned. I want to go, so yeah. But it's good to see that I get 50% off. But other than that, nothing too exciting going on. So I'm going to end it here and see you guys later. So I'm back from the board meeting and it really wasn't a board meeting because there was only like five, well, two board members there and you need like at least three members there to do anything. Um, one was on vacation, one was, we don't know where she was at and there was two empty seats on the board. So it was decided to have it um, next month with the regular meeting for the residents and it's either going to be the 4th or the 5th. She said it's usually, well the HOA manager company um, said it's usually on the Wednesday so I don't know why she said the 4th. The 5th is on the Wednesday. So um, there is some talk but not much talk about what's going on. Now it's the only resident for a while. For the short time I was, you know, they were there till another resident came. And it was weird because a while ago they sent a newsletter or something. They sent something with the four board meeting dates for the year. And I wrote them down in my planner. But I don't know if people paid attention, didn't pay attention and threw them out or what. But anyway, so... We're supposed to be getting new roofs, maybe not this year, but next year, and throughout, like, maybe in the next five years or so, because uh, it costs a lot of money for roofs, and there's, like, 28 houses, uh, so, yeah, um, it's probably going to be, like, a lottery to see which houses get roofs, because some of the homes here are attached because they're townhouses, so mine, there's, like, three there's mine. Yeah, there's three of them. Three, no, four attached, I think. Yeah, there's three or four attached to where I'm at. And some have three, some have are just by themselves. So, yeah. Some of them have got patch jobs um, over the years. I know last year there was like a couple that got patched. So how's across from me? got a patch job um, so yeah and I guess some of the board one of the board members said that some residents are not happy about the extra 50 for um, reserve making a hundred dollars for reserve because you know originally we all knew that um, it was going to be $30 for the HOA, for the raise to HOA, and there was $50 originally set aside for, in that HOA money, $50 set for the reserve. But then in this budget, along with the $30 raise, they put another $50 in for us to pay for another $50 for the reserve. A lot of residents myself included, are not happy about it. Some are saying, you know, cause some of them can't afford it. I'm included, but I never said anything. Um, so they're thinking about selling their house and moving. I can't do that. Because <laughs> one, who want, nobody's gonna sell me, give me a mortgage with no job. <laughs> I am looking, but you know, I have a lot of issues with that. <laughs> Psychology. <laughs> anyway, so um, there's that, and so I came home, got the mail, I got the sewer bill, which I was kind of expecting because that comes like every quarter, and then I got a thing from my HOA, and I'm like, what now? I just paid it. Every time I get some, get see the return address for HOA, 
I'm thinking money or something, but no, it's another um, call for candidates to be on the board, and I can't really be on the board because um, it's still in my mom, the HOA is still in my mom's name, and when she passed away, well, not right away, but, you know, I called and told them that she passed away and want to put my name on the on the bill so they told me they sent me a thing to fill out and I did and it's still in her name my did she had the same problem when my dad passed away so I just reprinted the form out so I can um, fill it out and maybe get on the board or something but, you know it doesn't pay anything and I don't think you get anything off on your HOA but yeah um, so there's that. So when I got the sewer bill, I decided to pay or write the check for the sewer and the mortgage. And I already subtracted the gas because that's going to be subtracted in um, the 21st. And then I know how much my Discover is. And I did the math on that to see how much I would have left, like, if I want to, like, get food, <laughs> like, groceries. And there wasn't much left. Because when I, I kind of figured it out before um, I got my Discover bill, and I forgot about the sewer <laughs> bill, and I kind of estimated how much my Discover would be. Well, I... First I estimated, and then I went to look to see how much it was um, before I got the email of what my bill was going to be. And I was like $2 off or something, like $2 and change off what it was. And I would have enough, but then I got the sewer bill, so it dropped down quite a bit. And I have money, but yeah, still kind of stressful. <laughs> I haven't really been to the grocery in a month, no, in a couple weeks. So, yeah. <sighs> stress, 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 stress. And, um, so this month I paid the regular, what I always pay for my mortgage. And, because, you know, the last couple months I added 50 $50 more to that because my electric bill was low <laughs> so I can kind of afford that but now for this year you know the HOA went up and right now my last month or this month the electric bill was a little more um, it was like 118 and change and right now I'm looking at my account for um, electric and it's today I have eight days left and to in the billing cycle and right now it's at 138 and the projected bill is fifty dollars more <laughs> well no well the projected is 182 so we'll see about that I don't know what else to do because I have my heating is the biggest part of the bill. <laughs> so, and I have it set at 68 during the day. At night, I have it set to 65. Um, I know my air conditioning unit is old and needs to be replaced. And probably the windows need to be replaced. It's like sometimes you can feel the cold air coming through the window and I can't afford either one <laughs> so yeah um, I can't wait till it gets warmer out so I can turn off the air conditioner or the heater for a while because that definitely helps with the bill for those last two bills I got they were wonderful <laughs> so that's me stressing out for money. 
I have been looking, not over the holiday, but the other day I looked, and there's a lot of places that are far away. I don't have the qualifications, and I'm um, also, as I mentioned in one of the group meetings, I'm afraid of rejection, because I've been, you know, when I was in Chicago, I looked for work, you know, send resumes, you don't hear anything, you go through, I've said this before in the vlog too, you know, you go through temp agencies, you call the time and they don't have anything, so you have that fear that nobody wants me and rejection and all that stuff, so it's really hard and I know I need to find one because I this money that I have for my mom won't last forever so <sighs> so there's that and then the mail came when because I got the mail um, from the mailbox after the meeting because I figured I was there anyway um, I would wait to get the mail then but the mail lady dropped off the package and it's my two, um, not that you can see, it's my two diamond paintings from AliExpress. I haven't opened them yet, um, so i got to do a video on that. And I start, did a video on the one that I got a couple, last week, or yeah, I think it was last week, but I decided I never, I never uploaded it, so I'm going to do that too. And I did film a review on this. Um, this afternoon and I did do a little bit more on this um, tonight before I left for the meeting and she's kind of the face is kind of patchy so tomorrow I'll probably you know with the other color of this I'll probably go over it and stuff so that's enough rambling and stress talk for um, now so I'll edit this. I think I have to upload the vlog from yesterday. So I do that and edit this and upload it. So see you guys later.